What is up, Internet people? We are back on the Sporty again. The last video I showed you the piston coating on the micro slick or on the skirts of the piston. So this is all taped off temporarily. This is not going in the oven this way. This is just to help me clean it up when we do the crown coatings on these brand new 60 over pistons. So what we're going to do, I got the heads coated yesterday as well. Got these remasked off. The valves are in, but they're just resting in there. They're not fully assembled. These are back in though, just because it's easier to use this as a template for masking than it is to try and tape off the entire valve side. I did not port these yet. I'm doing this completely out of order and I don't recommend doing it that way. However, when we were working yesterday at the shop, I was running a batch of Sheen Black already. So it made more sense to get that done first. These might get a little dinged up and nicked up once we get into the porting process, but it is what it is. I'm not building a show bike. It's just more efficient going this way. And why not have really nice, shiny, pretty parts before you start grinding and shooting metal and chunks of things all over the place and destroy the freshly coated, perfectly good looking cylinders or heads rather. Oh well, it is what it is. But I got the chambers on these cleaned up. Everything's taped off along here. So I shouldn't have any issue on the gasket ceiling surface when these get mounted back on the cylinders. We are going to hit this with the piston coating as well as the crown coatings on here for high heat. Essentially that should act like a mirror for heat and put all of the heat into the top of the combustion chamber. Never done this in application yet, so we're going to see how that goes. I'm really curious to kind of test this. I might try and run this bike for a couple months once the weather gets nice again come the spring and then pop these heads off just to give it a thorough inspection. Maybe take that top end off completely six months from now. Who knows? Uh, so that's kind of where we're at. I'm waiting on some other customer parts to go through an oven cycle before I switch over to the ceramic. I do have a tripod today, so I'll try and get a quick little time lapse for you of that. All right, so onto the ceramic. I've got this set up here. I'm going to strain it. This is an important step don't think I'm going to need that much for this. There's really not a lot of surface area to be coated. This is way overkill. Make sure you spend a long time shaking this. I did not do that on camera, but I have been shaking this on and off all day since I got here at 7.30 this morning. So tighten up the gun. I'll bring you guys over. Hopefully this tripod's broken, so if you guys fall over, it might break my phone. And that'll be the end of videos. All right, up top we have a cylinder head. Okay. be wearing a mask this stuff's terrible for you you can see the nice little gold pocket in there now on this the valves like I said are not assembled so I'm just gonna kick these up like so and you get a nice liquid coating all the way around the combustion chamber this is gonna set up for about 25 30 minutes air dry and then go into the oven 300 degrees for an hour just did a quick tape job on this too like I said it's a touch-up gun it does not spray that much don't want a crazy heavy coat on this either. And a nice thin coat on here, like so. And the fun ones that we're actually supposed to be using this for, the pistons themselves. So here's our pistons. 
should wear gloves for this too, but... Gilded piston crown. Grab the last one. Nice wet looking coat, but you do not want it heavy. Right there, you can still see all the casting in the piston, but nice, even, thin, wet coat. It's not thick, it's not running. Gotta be a little careful with that. But these will air dry before they go back in the oven. So, behind me, I do have the jugs, or the heads, not the cylinders, but the heads, with the valves just kind of resting in there again. So you guys can see what I did here. Uh, I don't have the valves assembled at all. So if you come around to the back side, this is the high temp masking tape we used when we coated the cylinders. And this is the end of the valve. I just punched a, punched a hole with the valve, which actually grabs onto that valve and kind of holds it in place really nicely. Gold metallic. So this is the piston coating. Same thing over here. Left the spark plugs in, those are getting replaced anyway. And then here's the pistons. I just pulled the tape on these, except for around the ring landing. So it's gonna be a three-tone piston. You're gonna have the dark black gray. It's already covered in dust, so I'm gonna have to clean all these off. And give that a quick little scotch bright scuff before it goes back into the motor, but that's not a big deal. So we got the gold on the top. This is the high temp, basically reflective heat coating. You got the black here, which is a like dry film lubricant, micro slick. I think it's like a PTFE film spray or something. Don't know if any of that's actually gonna make a difference, but it's supposed to be an extra slick barrier on if for whatever reason you run a motor dry and or not, obviously it's not gonna save it, but it should add a little bit of protection and supposed to be a little bit freer moving. Again, I have no idea if this is all snake oil myths or actually gonna work. I'm excited about the crown coatings. Um, I do see a lot more advantage in that. The piston skirt coating, I just figured why not try it on something I'm doing myself. So we will slap all of this together and pull the tape off. We've got about 10 more minutes on this and then it's gonna be uh, ready to go back into the oven and sit for an hour. Okay, I pulled all the masking tape off too, just to show you guys a little bit more what this is gonna look like all said and done. And I don't need the tape going through another cycle. Uh, there's definitely some tape residue on here from when I did these on the cast iron heads. I usually bake these pretty hot, um, but I take a file to all this and knock the high edge of the powder buildup off before I assemble them. So I'm not too worried on that one. And now we're ready to drop these back into the oven. So there's the gold coating going in the oven right now. Let this sit. Got the piston just resting up there. Hopefully I can close this gently and don't drop those. If you notice there's only two burners on in the oven because we only need 300 degrees. So that just dropped down quite a bit. But that'll go up, back up to 300. Once it hits uh, 300, it'll sit in there for an hour and we will just wait. <laughs> well, we are back. Oven has done its cure cycle. Uh, pistons have been in for about an hour or so. Yank these out, uh, and tape's still on, so I'm gonna yank this off here in a minute, but now we got the micro slick coating on the bottom side. Got the piston crown coating on the top, both of them. Looking super fresh and clean, super fancy, I guess. Same thing on the heads, just yank these out. These are still warm, cast iron. It's gonna take a while for these to cool down. But here's basically what we did. We yanked them out, pulled the valves. We'll need to take a file to the edges of this. 
any motor stuff that we do at our shop, I will do that typically before it leaves because depending on who's working on it, I mean, most of the shops are usually pretty good about that, but some people aren't necessarily the smartest. Sorry if you're one of those people. Not saying anybody's dumb, however, there's just basic oddball things that I like doing on motors. I typically file these anyway, even if it's not coated, just to give myself a nice straighter level edge. But we got the valve sitting here, free floating, everything's coated. Still need to go through and mic out all the valve guides and things like that too. Still need to bring these home and port the uh, cylinder heads as well. But that's where we're at. So let me get you guys set up. We'll yank the tape off of this and then show you a finished product. <laughs> Typically, I'll take a real fine file or the scotch Bright, just run that around this outer edge where the Cerakote kind of built up around the tape line. It's usually never that bad, but there's just enough. I don't like sharp edges on anything internally on my own motors. So I'll just hit this outside crown area like so. One more quick pass on this. Doesn't need much, just enough to smooth it out. A little bit more. We'll do a deep clean on all of these before it gets reassembled, but this also needs to go right to the machine shop. So I'm not going to sweat it all that much, just getting the tape lines off. The ring lands should be good. I'll run a pick through here, just clean up some of the tape that built up on the inside of the piston or the ring lands. One firm push on the edge of this upper ring. In the casting. A little bit of prep after. Nothing too crazy. <clears throat> Freshened up piston, pistons rather, so two pistons, and we have the cylinder heads, this is all discolored now just from the heat, but we'll run a file across these outer edges, make sure this is a nice smooth surface because right now the powder tends to stick to the tape a little bit, clean up some of this gummy residue of old tape that kind of stayed on here, but we're ready to go home and start porting some of these things. Chamber looks super nice and gilded. Fancy, fancy stuff. And there we have it. Lots of different things going on. Lots of new stuff that I haven't necessarily done, so I'm not an expert by any means, but I appreciate you guys watching. If you stuck around, please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button if you are interested in any of this stuff. I'm doing a full motor rebuild on this XLCH. Let me know in the comments if I'm an idiot, if I'm not an idiot, whatever it may be. I appreciate it. Trying to hit that 500 mark by New Year's. Please continue to help me out means the world to me takes you zero time at all hit that subscribe button here maybe who knows thanks for watching catch you guys later